Hey guys, so yesterday I'm going to be recreating my favourite childhood villain's makeup look, Darth Maul from Star Wars. It was actually easier than what I thought it was going to be and you actually use a small quantity of products to achieve this look. So yeah, if you want to know how to achieve this look or just want to see me make a fool of myself, be sure to keep on watching. Okay guys, so the majority of this video is probably going to be a voiceover, but to be honest, I just feel like I needed to say this in the beginning. So basically, I've just wet my hair because what I'm going to do is he does wear a cape and he does wear a hood. So obviously my hair is not a huge factor. However, I just wanted to wet mine just so it was flat when I put the hood on top. Also, I have put in my eye contacts for this makeup look. These are just sort of black ones with like red in the middle. It's very weird. I did want contacts like actual Darth Maul, but I went to my local Halloween store and there was nothing like his because he's got like eyes that are red on the outside and then yellow on the inside and then his pupils but this was the closest thing where it had like a color on the inside and something on the outside so i do apologize that it's not the exact same ones but the reason i put these in before i filmed today was because i tried to film this tutorial yesterday and here's a little clip of me up because these contacts would not go in my eye so yeah but basically I tried to film this look yesterday and my contacts like just weren't sitting comfortably in my eye. I think I had like a hair stuck in the contact or something, you know, something like really stupid. They are kept in little jars, but obviously there must be like some hair in there or something. You know what I mean? Like, especially because I have cats, there's just a lot of hair everywhere. So I think that I just got like a hair in the contact because this eye does feel a little bit irritated by the contact. But you know what? Today I'm just happy that I've got them in and they're not watering like crazy. So yeah, I've just done that off camera and then as well, I have glued my eyebrows down normally this is like a good and a bad thing it's hard to explain but when you do glue your eyebrows down to do makeup or anything on top of them usually it won't move however today I am using face paint products not actual makeup so I'm kind of afraid if these brows do come undone I won't be completely mad it's just I wanted a flatter base because I looked at a picture of Darth Maul and like there's not like any hair texture there it just kind of looks like he's got no eyebrows like he shaved them off obviously he's not a real person but you know what I mean in terms of his actor it seems like they've glued his brows down or shaved them off obviously i understand that darth maul isn't a character that typically has eyebrows but you know what i'm saying so yeah i've just glued them down for this makeup look however you can leave yours how they are it depends if you are recreating this look or just want to watch me being a fool so yeah i just thought i'd explain that before i start filming today most of this video will be a voiceover because if i'm being honest there's only about two or three products that i'm using today so there's not going to be much dialogue that's why i just thought i'd do a voiceover for this video but yeah i just felt like this intro was necessary Okay, so now on to the tutorial. Now don't you leave me with a rain check. I need something like a blank check. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to take this Snazaroo red face paint. I just use a spray bottle to spray some water onto it so I'm not dispersing too much water. And then taking a round oval makeup brush, I'm just going to use this to apply the red paint to my face. I've actually learned that this brush is actually better to apply face paint with. Before, I used to use foundation brushes or those flat synthetic brushes. But then I realized that they were kind of giving me a streaky base, especially if I was using face paint or anything. So I highly recommend these makeup brushes to use for face paint. Also, I don't even know if you noticed, but I apologise for not shaving for this tutorial. I shaved the day before and my skin gets really irritated if I shave twice in two days. So yeah, sorry if I was looking a little bit stubbly, but luckily on the facial hair area, I was using a lot of black face paint so you can't even see it. Okay, so in this next part, you can see that I'm putting the face paint over my brows and you can see that it's kind of taken off the layer of powder that we put on top, but luckily it was fine, like none of the hairs came undone from the glue. The glue kept it stuck down for the rest of the tutorial, so look for me the brows did not come out and my brows remained flat and in this next part you can see me living my tomato fantasy <laughs> also for some reason this red face paint makes my teeth look so white Okay, so next you just want to grab this Nazaru black face paint now. And using a small foundation brush, I'm just going to be sort of mapping out the areas of my face. I start off with the outer face details and I start working on the inside. 
Here you can see me just starting the lip details and I'm starting to mirror it on the other side. Also, I just want to say that I do leave some details to the last minute. For example, I don't paint my ears until the end because I do like to listen to my music with my headphones in and I don't want my headphones to be covered in black face paint so I do leave some details to the end. Okay, so now you can see me doing some more paint details on the chin and then I'm just sort of filling in the areas in black. I do the neck last as well just because I don't want it to rub off on my clothes too much. Also, I just want to say that some of these lines that you are seeing right now will look a little bit different later on in the tutorial, just because later on I do try and fix the lines a little bit more to make them more even. Obviously, it's kind of hard to make everything perfectly mirrored on one side of the face to the other, so the black paint you are seeing now will definitely be changed a little bit more later on in the tutorial. Okay, so next we're moving on to the forehead details. This was definitely the hardest part for me. Basically, Darth Maul has like a three panel forehead with three different shapes with kind of like a triangle shape in the middle with two circles by the side of it. This definitely was the part that I struggled with the most just because I should have really cut these circles in half, same with the triangle because looking at a picture of Darth Maul we definitely do have different proportions to our face. Especially with him being bold these do go much higher up on his face but I tried to lower them for my face which I don't recommend just because this wasn't my favourite part of the look. However when you do wear a hood or a cape over the top of your head it does kind of save it. <laughs> okay I'm not sure why I keep going in a really weird order because I'm going from the forehead to the nose and then I go back to the forehead forehead. <laughs> yeah, so right now I'm just painting the tip of my nose. This was definitely another area which I didn't feel like looked exactly like Darth Maul's. Like I said, we both have different face shape and it was definitely hard to resemble his tip of his black nose too. I just felt like mine kept looking a little bit too cute and like round. <laughs> Okay, so next going back to the forehead, I'm just going to be drawing this line that sort of goes down from the middle triangle all the way down to the start of the bridge of the nose. Moving on to eyes, I'm just sort of doing the side panels that link up to the eye area and the side black area that we've just drawn on. I like don't know what to call anything for this tutorial. And then now I'm just drawing the eye shape area. This is definitely another part that I hated on the outcome of this tutorial compared to the real Darth Maul makeup. Where you can see my brows growing, I needed to draw those lines there a lot lower to give me the sort of frowny, angry look. Yeah, I drawed it way too high, and then with the forehead circle panels that are way too big and low, it just kind of ruins the forehead area for me, but definitely I did work it out later on in the tutorial to make it look a little bit more better. But definitely this is an area that I would improve on if I was to do this look again, just because it does make the eyes look a lot less angry, which is not what Darth Maul is, because his face just like exceeds anger. So if you are recreating this look, I do recommend to do the lines above your eyelids a lot less lower. The only reason I don't think I did when I was doing this makeup look was just because I wanted the eyebrows to be fully covered. I didn't want them to come through on the red areas of the face. But like I said, I do try and fix it on later on and I think it did turn out okay. <laughs> okay, so next on the nose bridge, I'm just going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Vinyl Liquid Liner to outline the diamond shapes that go up his nose bridge. Using the brush applicator on the eyeliner is super helpful to get a more precise and more sharp line. Okay, and then next she's in the same liner. I'm just going to be doing more forehead details, so making the like squiggly line that comes from the circle panels down to the eyes, as well as a strange shape just above the eye shape in between the forehead and the eye. Like I said, I do recommend that you do use a very thin and fine brush when doing this, it just makes it a lot more easier. Okay, so the next, oh my god, I'm <laughs> You can see the small duck teddy that Meg's mom has made for me in my mirror, and it's making me scream. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that, oh my god. Okay, so then next using a small little nail art brush, I'm just going to be filling in the lines that we just previously drew with the black Snazzery face paint. This brush is just super small and it helps get in, in those small and awkward areas, especially when doing face paint looks. Okay, so no one really knows this about me, but I'm actually like a super Star Wars geek, especially with like the earlier movies that were released back when I was a young kid. Like I remember being around the age 8 and I was super obsessed with Star Wars and especially the villains. Like back in 2005, I loved playing Star Star Wars Battlefront 2, that was my absolute shit. Especially when he used to play as like the Jedi's that used to be everything. And of course Darth Maul was my favourite player to play as. He was the best, like he could throw his lightsaber, literally his moves were everything. Also, oh my god this makes me feel so old, but I used to be obsessed with the game Star Wars Obi-Wan. Apparently it came out in 2001 and at that age I would have been 3. But I think that I just used to play it like later on in my childhood because I remember playing it on the original Xbox and this is how sad I was, back on that game you could like name your 
yourself a name. And I used to put my name as Jedi Ollie. And I also used to have an uncle called Paul. And when he used to play with me on the Xbox, his name would be Darth Paul. And mine would be Jedi Ollie. Like, I actually hate myself. <laughs> but oh my god, that game was everything. Like, I can't believe it's from 2001. The Jedi battle was everything. I used to play that all the time. It's where you'd, like, go against a full room of Jedis. Like, that was my favourite thing, playing as a Jedi on the Xbox. Also, another favourite of mine was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. They were one of those story time games where, like, you could pick your character and pick whether you was more good or more evil. Of course, I was more evil. And it was one of those games where your decisions, like, affected your character. But yeah, ugh, the early 2000s were everything. I just want them back. I'm getting so old. I'm 19, but you know. <laughs> okay, so I got a little bit sidetracked then, so back to the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so now we're coming up to the finishing steps of the tutorial. I'm just doing some more lip details. The reason I kind of left this as one of the last steps is because your boy loves to drink and eat. <laughs> so that's why I left it to one of the last things to do. Okay, so next I'm just going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Weirdo Black Liquid Lipstick on my top lip. Because the whole top lip is black on Darth Maul's makeup look, I just wanted to use a liquid lipstick instead because then I would know that it would not transfer onto the bottom lip and not move. Okay, so next taking a Revlon eyeliner pencil, I'm just going to be drawing these lines underneath my eyes to go over with face paint in just a second. I'm doing that just because I was using it as an outline. And then next taking the eyeliner pencil and just putting it through the waterline of my eye. This just gives the eyes a more sunken in effect. And if you left it how it was then it would make the eyes look a lot more wide open but in my opinion Darth Maul's eyes are more sunken in and not wide. Okay so next I'm just going to be using the NYX Sex Bomb eyeshadow palette and using the black eyeshadow shade. I don't know if you guys noticed but the face paint didn't really set well on my lid so it started to move. So I just thought I'd use this matte black eyeshadow just to set the eyelid area so it doesn't expose any of the skin underneath and start taking off my eye makeup. Okay, so next taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Like I said again, I'm just going to be coating my lashes in this mascara to give my eyes more of a sunken in look. And then once that's done, I'm just going to go back to my oval makeup brush and dip it in my Snazzaroo Black Face Paint. I'm just going to be taking this and putting it all on my ears and a little bit through my hairline just to blend the black into my hair and blend it out. And then after using the same brush, I'm just going to take the black face paint down my neck and blend it out. Okay, so I thought that I was done like an idiot, but I've missed the part here where it has like lines. So let me just do that for you guys because I totally thought I was finished like an absolute idiot. Also, side note, I think because of my contacts or how I've done the eye shape a little bit differently because I did go up a little bit too high, I admit, on this like eye area. But who cares because I feel like this is my own version of like Darth Maul. <laughs> I'm not trying to go for like an absolute exact look of him. I don't know, like I just feel like I look like a sweeter Darth Maul. Like, don't I look more approachable? Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and do this part. And then once that's completed, you are all done. So then for the Darth Maul-esque outfit, I just have on a turtleneck. And then I'm just going to be putting this cheap-ass Primark hoodie over my head. I'm not going to wear the hoodie because I don't want a visible zip in the front. So I'm just kind of using it as a hood. And then next, I'm just going to be using this cape, which my best friend's boyfriend gave to me on Halloween weekend. <laughs> he just gave this to me when I was in the club. So I was like, okay, thanks. I'll take that. And it actually came in use. <laughs> the only thing that doesn't fit in is that this one has fur on the top. But you know what? It's my version and I love fur. <laughs> By that, I mean fake for Peter don't come for me and then yeah that is the look so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any single videos coming up and obviously subscribe if you want more makeup content in the future and if you did enjoy the video be sure to like and comment down below too thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye pretty face pretty face pretty baby oh.